In this video, I am going to provide you with a few simple yet effective methods that an architect or building designer might use to design one of these crazy decks that you're trying to figure out how in the heck they're designed. How, how, how do they come up with these ideas? And a lot of times it's just as simple as using a different size square and a different sized circle. And again, that's all I'm going to focus on in this video. Um, I might make another video. If you like this, you want to see more of it, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, let me know, and um, I'll get into a few different shapes. But the um, principles are the same. You're simply going to take a few of these squares and then move them around until you get kind of a design that you like. Now, the measurements on these um, to scale are four foot taller or four foot wider than um, the other. So here we have an eight foot circle, eight foot long square, a, then we're going to add four feet to that, 12 foot, 12 foot diameter, 16 foot diameter, 16 foot, 20 foot, and 20 foot diameter. The first deck I'm going to build, I'm just simply going to grab these squares and put them in order like this. And you could see here where you could have a deck with two steps going up to a landing here or up to a deck. And that would end up looking something like this. 12 foot by 12 foot deck on the top, four foot steps going down in each direction. If I wanted to make the steps smaller, then I would simply make these squares a little smaller also. So 12 foot square on top, 13 foot square here, 14 foot square here. Now these would give me 12 inch or one foot wide steps. If I wanted to make the steps wider, I would just simply adjust accordingly. So if I wanted to have a step that was two foot, then I would have a 12 foot square on the top, 14 foot square on the bottom, 16 foot square uh, underneath that one. And of course you could do the same thing with the circles. Center them in. And you would end up with something like this. Next up on the list we will take a square and a circle. We're going to take the same sized circle. And I'm just going to kind of slide it in here to where you can see where we have a deck that would be square with a rounded edge, providing us with something like this, a shape like this. And, and again, I know a lot of people, they, they're like, how in the heck do I get something like this? And, and it's not. It's not that difficult. You can take a square and then come to the center point in the square and then take a measurement. 12 foot, we're going to have 6 foot, and we're just simply going to draw a curved shape around it. Now, what if I want to have a deck with round steps coming off of it? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of snap this in and then grab another one. And then our deck is going to be up here. We're going to have this will be our first step here, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of our lines here around it. So here we would have a deck that would come all the way out here with a curved step. And that would end up looking something like this. Now here's another common design that I see. It would just simply be a square with a circle. And if you notice, I drew center points in the circle so I could make this a little easier. So here I could have something where I have a square and then a round um, deck coming off. Now if I wanted to put my little stairs in here, I could simply do it like this. So let's go ahead and take a look at our deck without all of the lines in here. So here we'd have a flat surface coming to a step. And of course this is what it would end up looking like. So a square deck here with a kind of a pop-out circle and then a step going around. And of course you could always have a step coming around like this and then have it come over here. You just simply add a step here to make it work out to where you would have a different type of design. 
And by now you should be getting a pretty good idea of what I'm doing here and uh, how you can just kind of grab a couple of circles, some squares, and other geometric shapes and put them together to form a variety of different decks. And I know the main reason why I did this video here was to provide do-it-yourselfers with a general understanding of just exactly how simple some of these designs can be created by um, just a few geometric shapes and even basic geometric shapes like a square and a circle. So that's it for the video. I am going to do a couple of more videos about deck design. And, and uh, if I do, I'll put uh, a playlist together, put a link to it in the video description area or in the video here somewhere. Don't forget, you can always visit the website. And uh, I do have sections of the website broken down. So for example, for decks, you can go to the outdoor tab and then click on decks from there. And then you can also go to the design tab and the repair tab and find decks and get more information about designing decks in the design area, building decks in the outdoor, on the outdoor tab. And then of course, repairs for decks in the repair section of the website.